I believe. Now this just came out, I just saw this on the subreddit, but things like this I like to get ahead of as, as uh, quickly as possible because I do not want him to be allowed to set this tempo as if this is, this is the official narrative. Um, can you explain your rationale for being okay going for Twitch advertisers versus your early positions? Is it because it's a company and not an individual? Um, what, so one of the things that I'm, I'm realizing more and more for the conservative stuff, and I'm probably, this is why I'm saying we have to have a big power after this, because we have, now it's kind of funny, now I can point back to, my community has been mobilized for a big cancellation, probably I think for the first time really. And we've seen like some crazy results from the fallout from that. So now at least when people are like, oh, you guys mobilized to harass people all the time. No, we did do that once. And that's what it, this is what it actually looks like. This is what it really looks like. Okay. <laughs> the one person sends you a meme DM that might not even be for my community. That's, that's not my community to mobilize to cancel somebody. This is what it looks like. Um, I don't think it's good to make it a trend or a pattern, of course, but um, one thing that I'm, I'm, uh, I'm still like toying with this. I, this is an idea that I like, I've written some of this down and it's like congealing more in my mind. I'll probably write a lot and think about this a lot when I'm flying is, um, we accept that there are standards of behavior that you are expected to engage in if you want to participate in society. And when you don't adhere to those standards, you're removed from society. Uh, in the United States, uh, and in most countries called the criminal code, right? If you want to rape, murder, steal, uh, you know, break into people's homes, whatever, um, that's that's not okay. You have to align on those values with everybody else in the country. If you don't align on those values, your rights will be removed from you. You'll go to the criminal process and, and the government can, can deprive you of your rights. Um, I'm feeling more and more like this needs to apply somehow in, in some way to speech. That freedom of speech is an awesome responsibility uh, that comes with a lot of pros and a lot of cons, but like, I mean, like any right, uh, like any privilege, like whatever you, you have to be willing to defend it. Like your parents tell you this when you learn to drive, like, Oh, you've got a, this is an awesome new privilege, but there's a lot of responsibility with it. Like if you want to be able to do this, you also have to keep in mind this, um, the idea that you think that you can enjoy uh, uh, freedom of speech, but have no responsibility to the upkeep of freedom of speech is ridiculous. And more and more I'm realizing, especially with conservatives that, um, with conservatives that uh, you you can't you cannot exist in a world where you, there are unequal standards on both sides. It's not possible. Uh, that which is why now, like when I debate conservatives, my goal is to just like I just want to destroy you. I don't care now. We're not having like an empathetic, compassionate conversation. I'm just trying to make you look like a f***ing moron because you are a moron um, and you don't believe in dinosaurs. I don't know how to in, like. Oh, and then another thing is there have to be because there there needs to be in order for people to act good. And by good, I just mean um, like act in good faith. There has to be an environment conducive to it. And the environment conducive to it means it's an environment that rewards good faith and punishes bad faith. And right now, I would argue that you have an environment that not only rewards bad faith by feeding people that, uh, by, by giving money to people that provide psychological comfort uh, at the cost of being truthful, it, it even punishes good behavior. Like if you want to be critical of your side, if you want to be critical of something that's part of your group's narrative, you get severely punished for it. Those standards need to change. And one of the ways that those standards change, unfortunately, is through, um, you, you, there are two ways in psychology to, um, there are two ways in psychology to, well, I'm sorry, in, is it operant conditioning? No. There's positive punishment and negative punishment, and then there's uh, positive reinforcement and negative reinforcement. So you can either punish a behavior or you can reinforce a behavior. Um, and the punishment for a behavior is, uh, is going after somebody. Yeah, like cancellation, basically. Uh, right now, there is no punishment for bad behavior as long as you're on a certain political coalition. So if that's the case, I mean, like, providing one would, and if the companies won't do it, <laughs> then the mob does it, right? Yeah, but I don't know. It's I, I, There's a lot, obviously, that I have to sort through here because um, there's a lot that uh, I have to sort through here because I need to, uh, I, there's, like, so many ways that it can go wrong, you know? Destiny, this is a genuine question. Wasn't your strongest belief that you were against the type of behavior, like the cancellation stuff? Yes, but you have to remember one thing that I've always said is you have to be attached to the outcome and not the process. The reason why I don't like the mass cancellation stuff is because it's a race to the bottom. Because as soon as people start going after sponsors, well, now every time somebody has a problem, they're going to go after sponsors. They're going to try to get like it's you fucked, right? It's just a bad, you don't usually want to be in a world where you're trying to like target sponsors to get people banned because now everything is fucked. 
But the issue is, my assumption there is the reason why you're doing that, or why you're not doing that, is because if everybody kind of plays by that set of rules, then we can all fight on a more even playing field, right? I don't want to tell everybody that tomorrow for my MMA match, I'm going to bring a knife with me, because then everybody's going to show up with knives, and now we're going to start killing each other. But if I know the other guy's coming with a knife anyway, well, fuck me, I'm not going to show up and fight barefisted. I'm probably going to bring a gun, <laughs> or at least I'm going to show up with a knife, right? So the issue is that we're already at the bottom because the other side has dragged us there. And to try to rise above those standards while the other side, there is no virtue in, in losing fight after fight after fight because the other side is willing to play by a different set of rules. The other side has to be forced either through um, government law or through uh, corporate or company action or through culture change. Uh, the other side has to be forced to play by the same set of rules. You couldn't have a society where the law applies to one group of people and it doesn't apply to another group of people. We're basically living in a, we're living in a cyber apartheid right now, guys, okay? We have different laws than they do, so. But again, like everything I said, that there's like so much of what I just said that can be used for really bad purposes, but that's, so I'll try to think about it more. Yeah, I don't know. One of the things that I thought about, but it's so cringe, like it would play out like very cringe, but it would be funny as fuck, but it would be cringe too. Is uh, but also it might just be because I'm like on a big law arc because we've read so much legal shit. It would be funny to like say like, okay, well, I think that we need to. We're going after this dude's sponsors, okay? But like a sponsor requires like a like a digital like criminal conviction, so we have to go to criminal court for it. So we get like Turkey Tom, or we get like somebody to be like the judge <laughs> on like a case, and you have to make your case to the judge and say this is why we should cancel him. Here's the evidence. Can I convince like six people on our jury that we're gonna fucking go after this dude's sponsors or some shit? It would just be funny to have like a formal presentation of like all the evidence, the standards we think they've broken. Have somebody like evaluate. That'd be fucking funny as fuck. But it would also be a little bit cringy, I don't know. Without some serious institutional powers, can you really affect the standards on the other side as being held to, or are you just contributing to the race to the bottom you mentioned? We're already at the bottom. I don't think we can make it worse, right? I don't think, I think that right now, I think it's better than it was before. I think that one side having a standard enforced against them that's stupid is worse than both sides having a stupid standard enforced against them. Because if both sides have it enforced against them, there's a better chance that the standard will change, or at the very least, the other people will change their behavior, right? My guess is, and people forget this sometimes too, remember, the goal of punishment isn't just to ban people and keep people off, it's also to change behavior. Hopefully, because I do feel strongly about this, even though it's unfortunate, but I'm, I'm guessing for you guys, probably like 95% of you do take this kind of personal, like you really are invested in seeing these streamers fall. Um, the majority concern for me isn't actually seeing these people fall, although that is funny to me. It's that I really do dislike that Twitch has become a radicalization platform for terrorists. That, that drives me insane. It, like that is my, That's my major driving hatred for, or my major thing is driving hatred for all this. So if it is the case that after these bans, when Denims and Frogan and all these dipshits come back, um, that maybe uh, maybe they'll tone it down a little bit because they know they'll get banned because it's bullshit, right? I think that's that's good. That's an improvement. It's, it's kind of cringe as it seems. I think that is an improvement. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice.